Good morning, this is Brian Shannon from Alpha Trends Blogspot. Today is Friday, the 16th of February, 2007. And on Wall Strip this morning, we're going to take a look at the gold and, and silver ETFs. This morning's uh, interview uh, subject was Greg Weldon. And uh, this guy's a trader. You could tell by the way he talked. I like I liked what he had to say a lot. His theme was that ETFs are a great vehicle for the individual to trade, and I, I believe that to be true, too. The gold ETF, GLD, is supposed to mimic uh, approximately one-tenth the ounce of gold. So when you see uh, it trading like it did close yesterday at 65.85, just move the decimal over one, you're basically you're at $658 an ounce. Now, this ETF, obviously, 2005 was the beginning of a very nice bull run in here. The market got a little bit ahead of itself and has been consolidating as the volatility has decreased in here. What we start to see, though, is that a pattern has emerged. And that pattern looks to me like an inverted head and shoulders pattern with a, a deep left shoulder. Then we've got this head here and then a right shoulder. Now, what that really tells us is that we've seen a higher low right here and the resistance, the it's a sloping resistance line, but it's still resistance, which forms the neckline, was taken out uh, just about four weeks ago. So now it looks like the buyers are back in control of the gold market, and I wouldn't be surprised to see a test of these highs uh, materialize out of this move. Now, on a weekly basis, you can see we've had six solid w up weeks here, so I would expect some kind of pullback, maybe even towards that neckline, maybe down towards about 64 or so on this gold ETF. But if we take a look at the measured move, basically the height of this pattern, we can go down here and just call this 57, and just to be conservative, it's a little lower than that, and right up to 65. So that would be eight points would be the height of this pattern in here. If we take that and add it to the breakout point here at $64 a share, that would give us a target, an objective up here of $72 a share, which is almost precisely at that line and where we had this prior uh, resistance uh, found. So it looks like the buyers are definitely back in control of gold. If we take a look at the week daily time frame, you can see where that break has occurred. Now, I, again, I, I would expect there to be a little bit of a pullback. Maybe yesterday's move was the beginning of that. Uh, you could maybe look to find support near this uh, horizontal support level that I've drawn in, or maybe uh, near this rising 20-day moving average. A lot of times in an uptrend, it's first the 10-day moving average that holds the support. The pullbacks get a little bit deeper, and buyers emerge near the 20-day moving average. So maybe about 64 and a half to 65. You want to start looking for signs of stabilization in there, and that would be a good place to purchase gold. But gold definitely looks like the buyers are back in control. Let's take a look at silver now. SLV is the the, um, the symbol here, and this is supposed to represent 10 ounces of silver. So uh, one ounce of silver would be about $13.95 is the way it's supposed to work. Now, silver, this ETF has really, since it's become public, done a whole bunch of nothing in here, and that, that's uh, just a, a matter of uh, when it came public back in uh, February of last year. So it's been trading only for about a year, but there is good volume in it. If we take a look at what the vo uh, average daily volume is, I've got a 20-day moving average. It's about 370,000 shares. It's not huge, but um, trading size isn't a problem in here. It's obvious to me that this market is making higher highs and higher lows, though. And it looks like this level's next to be taken out. And once it does that, then I think that we can see a move probably up towards 150. I'm going to say the same thing I said about gold, though. We've had five, six solid weeks up, if you count this week. And it's probably due for a little bit of a pullback, uh, maybe down towards, let's just call it uh, 134, 135, before I would be comfortable really buying it. Um, so, again, perhaps it's that 20-day moving average, and we've got a little bit of support in there um, from, from this pullback and uh, this, this little level of resistance over here. So it looks like maybe a pullback towards 135 would be a good place to start initiating a position if you're not already in it. And I would say probably stops go down to 128. Let's just talk about the risk in gold for a moment. I think probably getting back below 663 or so on this ETF that's where I might want to consider lightening up on a position.